All right, guys, we're sitting here at NotFest.com, new pod, Louder Than Life 2023 with Jason and Wes from Flat Black. How's that sound, Jason, from Flat Black? It sounds awesome. <laughs> Different than uh, the past, right? Different than the past. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, obviously, you know, you coming in and, and you know, being in such a, such an established band for so long and then kind of starting, you know, not starting over, but starting over, man. And I, you know, played in bands and that's the scariest thing on the planet is like new projects. So, I mean, kind of talk about getting it together, man. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't bother me one bit. Uh, you know, I've had, I've had more failure in my life than yeah. success, to be honest. Yeah. But I think the key is just, uh, just keep plowing, you know? And, uh, when I wasn't part of that other band anymore, it was okay. I'm just like, I've been, I've been playing guitar since I was six years old. Right. So whatever. Um, I, I was actually passionate and very excited to put this band together. Cause yeah. now, I, now I can hand pick the lethal motherfuckers, you know? Right. West being one of them. <laughs> yes. Yes, something. <laughs> <laughs> so kind of coming into the band, West, I mean, West, you know, like dealing with recording with them. How about that? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, this type of music is a little outside of my, uh, it's slightly outside of my wheelhouse, I guess. Uh, I, I sort of grew up like a, like a death metal kid. Like, I, I love Deathcore and, and like Whitechapel, nice. Chelsea Grin, okay, bands, yeah, bands yeah. like that, Slipknot, of course. And, uh, you know, I, I like really, really heavy stuff. Uh, but uh, this whole band has been, you know, a very big challenge uh, for you know, in terms of uh, what what I'm normally doing, because I always was a singer, but like I, I like the screaming and the you know the crazy technical stuff. Uh, right. But um, you know, th this whole band has been a challenge. It's it's challenged my whole thought process because I uh, started with these songs and I uh, didn't expect to like them as much as I do. Right. I guess. Uh, and well, it's it's really opened my mind to you know how important a song is with a chorus uh -huh. and. Uh, how much like the song itself, the structure and, and what makes a song a song, uh, with, with the, the things people remember about it, yeah. the, the things that you repeat and uh, the things that really uh, move people. Yeah. Uh, it, it's changed my mind a lot on that and I, I've, I really do, I genuinely love, love the music and I'm going on stage, uh, you know, playing a, a lot uh, different music than I've been playing my whole life. Right. And, uh, I'm, I'm having a great time and, and seeing people respond and, and be uh, really enthusiastic and and uh, happy to see it all and, and the energy is just so it's so oh, positive yeah. man yeah. it's it's so so positive whereas like I don't know what you said you played in bands yeah. uh, I don't know if you ever played in like a metal band like in a, on a local level or anything like that but <laughs> all of pretty much you. like everybody <laughs> hates yeah. it like right. everyone's crossing their arms in the back like, like uh, oh man right this, this uh, Jason Jason missed a tap when he did the soul, you know what I mean? It's like I could do that. I, I hate, I hate that whole yeah. that whole culture is something. I'm so far, I'm so happy. I'm away from, uh, and everybody, all the fans are so positive and happy. Yeah. And, and when we do meet and greets, it's like so positive. You yeah. Know? I mean, that's, it's, that's uh, it's been great. Uh, I've I have no complaints. I've I've expanded my life a lot uh, and my interests through this. So it's been it's been awesome. So, but be honest, man, being a deathcore kid, a death metal kid, yep. when the guy from Five Finger Death Punch calls, do you go like, oh God. Actually, go. yes. Uh, <laughs> I, I had a little, I was certainly, certainly like re reserved on that. Cause I mean, I liked, uh, I listened to, when I was like in like seventh or eighth grade, I think it was, uh, I don't know, one of those records I listened to a lot. Uh, what I want to say like, uh, American capitalist, something like that. So I, I knew who Jason was, right. but I didn't know Jason by name or anything like that. Um, no, I just didn't care. Yeah, I, I knew who he was, but you know he didn't really do anything right now. Right. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I definitely had reservations. But you know, I met Jason in person, and how normal you were, <laughs> and just I, I've worked with. Listen, man, I've had a you know I've worked with some difficult people in my yeah. life. In previous bands I've been in, it's been difficult. So and, Jason. and this has been no. This has been very simple and easy, and like the the reason I was so on board and open to all of it, being a deathcore kid, you right. know, the the reason I was so open to it is because of him, because of how he was, and uh, it was just all good vibes and comfortable, and I I could expect I could expect everything. Right. In other bands I've been in, dude, it's like sometimes you. Uh, You'll, you'll drop something too loud and right. get a reaction you could never think would happen in a million years. Right. It's like, Jason is predictable and normal and I get him, you know? Right. And that's, so that put away, all the reservations I might have had 
being a, a metal elitist kid. <laughs> you know, that all went out the window when I realized how cool he was. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, it was an incredible guitar player. I've seen, seen you over the years play. I mean, obviously, I guess, you know, you can't pull out the 20-foot platform that, you know, r ramp that shoots you up into the sky, you know. Oh, it's coming. Just yet. <laughs> it's coming. Don't count that out yet. You know, the one thing I, I noticed listening to the tracks and the one thing I noticed about, like, like when a, when, a, when an artist does a solo record, you can tell what what they what they brought to the original band, right. you know, like like a lot of the guys in Seven Dust, they do offshoot bands. So you hear their records, you're like, okay, that's that part of Seven Dust. That's that. So hearing these tracks, I was like, okay, that's the part that Jason brought to, to Death Punch. Um, you know, just kind of talk about you know getting these songs together. Were these songs that you had laying around? Were these songs that you wrote specifically for Flat Black? Uh, I mean, maybe a couple of them were in a yeah. folder, but. Uh, I have a, st I, I, the one thing I treated myself to is a, a nice studio at my house. Yeah. Um, I never got cars and toys and all that stuff. I put all my savings into tools, Yeah. right? So with that, I can always go and make recordings. Yeah. And I always do. I always go up there and work, 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 work. It's my passion. I'm a musician and we create. That's what we right. do. So, uh, and you know, and. In, in the prior band, we did we worked hard. Mm -hmm. The records were back to back, and yeah. we would come off an 18 month tour, take two weeks, and then start another record. Yeah. So I'm kind of used to that, and it's you know I'm not afraid of working hard, and uh, and I knew the only way to attract people like Wes yeah. into the project is go listen to this. <laughs> I, you know, talk is cheap. I, you know, an, an idea is thin. Yeah. But good, potent music. Yeah. Is thick. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I totally, I, I, uh, the, the music was everything for me. Like the, you know, the reservations, the, the fact that the music is good and the people are, yeah. Can, can I swear? Is yeah, that, go yeah. ahead. Do people are doing. fucking normal. <laughs> right? They have to be normal people or else like this, this stuff isn't sustainable, dude. Like we're living in a submarine yeah. on, a on the road together. And we are, you know, we're this close all the time. Like, it's so important that you relationally get along. And, and plus the music's great. Right. So Absolutely. I missed it. Uh, we just had a, we just had a 10-day break. Not not our choice, but we're on right. the Godsmack tour. And yeah. they had scheduled this break because right. they've been on tour all year. But I, I was actually like, I'd rather be with the guys. Yeah, uh, this was, is, this is, this home. sucks. <laughs> right? can, home we, like, can we just go get pizza or something? Yeah, so, uh, I mean, that's such a good sign. Yeah, and, yeah. and it's such a different feeling for me. Yeah. Um, I don't know, couldn't I be happier. I will say, and the, and the last thing on the flat black and in the, in the comparison to the other stuff is, you know, Jeremy's done, Jeremy Spencer's done a ton of band, like a ton of band, you know, like, or a ton yeah. of music. He put out like 90 records one day, uh, you know, with the semi rotted and the psycho sitter and all that stuff. I, I, but I don't think the casual Five Finger Death Punch fan is going to like what he's doing. And, 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 you know, and that's on him and that's up to him and whatever he wants to make. But I think that the hardcores of, of Death Punch fans are going to enjoy Flat Black. I think they're, you, you know. Well, here's the thing <clears throat> I didn't change my role. Yeah. So, um, you know, I when I I told Jeremy, you should do what makes you happy. Yeah. Forget about everything else, because life is short. Yeah. Make yourself happy. Um, but he turned himself into a singer. Yeah. Um, I didn't. I didn't right. turn myself into a figure skater. <laughs> right. I, I'm a fucking guitar player. Yeah. So I just, you know, I just, I was a guitar player here. I'm the same guitar player over here. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, God bless yeah. him. He, no, he's and, a yeah, hard and I'm not, and I'm not saying anything bad about him. I'm saying like it's just yeah. the stuff that he's put out is so left field to the casual yeah. fan. It's just gonna be like, what is he doing? Well, <laughs> here's the, th the the truth of the matter is, and and I mean this with the utmost respect. Yeah. I had a very heavy hand in the Five Finger Death Punch records. Right. I worked very hard on those records, yeah. and so if it sounds like there's some similarities, yeah. that's why. Because well, we got big. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, this song. This it's sounds like it's so funny. I'm just, I'm bracing. Yeah. I'm bracing for people to go. It's not as good as Death Punch. I'm like, well, that was me too. <laughs> right. So like, I what the <laughs> fuck? And that's why I'm saying, like, you can hear. I can hear what you added to Death Punch because of what you yeah, added yeah. to Flat Black. I honestly don't care. Yeah. I just don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. Yeah. I have to make, I'm older than these guys. I have to make myself happy because yeah. I may not be here one day and I, what, what was the fucking point of the whole thing? Right. I got to do what makes me happy. I like aggressive, potent, yeah. guitar driven, 
fuck you music. There we go. <laughs> well, I think that's a perfect How way to How do you feel about it? Me too. Me too. <laughs> so, so fuck you music. Yeah. All right, we'll end it on that, man. But uh, once again, Flat Black here at NotFest.com, Allowed in the Life 2023. This has been New Pod. Thank you, buddy.